Yo, what's up? This is Sasha, a.k.a. the First Lady P, and you're chilling with Factory 78, and I'm here with DJ Lan Ray. Hey, welcome to the Factory, Factory 78. Yo, what's up? This is Sasha, a.k.a. the First Lady P, and you're chilling with Factory 78, and I'm here with you know DJ Lan Ray. Let's go. You know the deal. Yeah. Welcome to the factory. I came through with an anthem. Let them know I got it locked from the doors to the shores of my crew. Representing with an A game. Kept it real through the heat. Critics loving what I do. No need to prove who's the realest because I maintain. First lady in my sleep. Set the record. Now they watching every move. Can't fuss. Can't complain. Big up at every time. Dick and Harry still I rise because I can and remain because I'm on team. Check the records. I'm the reason for the season. Celebrating what I bring on the steady because the game chain. Chameleon stay flipping every time. They confuse to read my flow. It's insane. Don't mean to brag, but the lines pay bills. So I stay top chilling. Every show billing. Broke the glass ceiling. That's why I got no time for this. Who said what? Billings, what billings? Yo, it's Sasha P, Factory 78, and you know how we do it. Yeah. Storm in the building. <laughs> yes, so. Yes, so. That's it. I don't know that's like. Let's let's hear it. <laughs> What's next for Sasha? Mm. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you can't set a timetable to these things because man proposes, God disposes. <laughs> Emotion, you can't stop my rain. Stay fly like heroes. Got my side chick, Batman and Robin. Hi, my name is Sasha, aka Sasha P, aka the first lady of African hip hop, aka you know how we do. Engine room, you that's me. They make no mountain that I couldn't climb. Hey, you can't stop my shine. Um. My, my family was a bit like the Von Trapp family. I'm the last of eight kids, a uh, very musical family. I'm the only one that took it professional. Um, I studied law at the University of Lagos. Uh, I own a clothing label and I'm signed to Storm 360. Check, check, check out. Well, um, I've always sort of really loved poetry. Discovering rap started when I started hanging out with a group of family friends and they were into rap and you know i started getting like eight bars on their songs and 16 bars and that's pretty much how it started but i'd always you know had songs where i would re rewrite my versions of the songs like even christian songs or whatever like i do my own versions of the songs and i was also in love with a lot of hip-hop growing up you know there was the salt and pepper there was a uh, criss cross there was a uh, naughty by nature you know to pack up how can i i mean to pack celebrate tonight puzzle you know what i mean so i mean i was influenced by a lot of that growing up so. Move you. let it confuse you no time. um my first recording contract was with tribe records which sort of i mean started the whole thing for me because i met ld as a fan you know i was just telling him you know what i love your music blah 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 and i rap and he's like you rap and you're just saying it like that We're like we don't have women that rap you know so come by to the studio let's see what you can do and the rest they say is history I got signed like two weeks after I met him and that was really how I started. I mean it was it was definitely new territory and that was basically why I liked the tribesmen because that was the first time I was hearing hip hop that had like Nigerian content. Like I was hearing Pigeon, I was hearing Yoruba and you know it was just amazing to see that people could you know flow so fluidly and it was nice to you know join their crew and learn a, a thing or two. What was it like? I mean there was a lot of resistance back then. There was the oh a female MC, what's she talking about, all of that, you know. We used to beg people to listen to the CDs. I mean, nowadays, you, a song drops and everybody gets it in like five minutes, you know. It really wasn't like that. But I think Nigerians are beginning to appreciate their own mona, and that's really what has changed. People have seen that there's been a consistency of, of quality music, and now there, you know, there's open arms everywhere. Come on. Come on. I think the new generation of MCs are amazing. I mean, because there's so much versatility, like everyone has their own style. They have sick flows, they have rhythm, they have good looks, you know what I'm talking about, like the full package. And I think it's given a lot more people the encouragement to step up to the mic because before people used to be like, oh, females couldn't do it. But now you see so many different kinds of women doing it, you know. We even have female Yoruba rappers, you know what I'm saying? So we have the ones that are more inclined to jazz. We have gospel. There's a variety, so you can always find in where you fit, where you fit in. You can fit in anywhere, and I think they're doing a great job. I'm proud of them. Um, uh, my female. MCs in Africa. I mean, number one on my list has to be Damadu Bling. That's like my sister from another mother. She's a rapper from Mozambique. Um, um, I've been listening to Keiko. I think she's from uh, Kenya or Uganda. 
she's she's really doing well right now as well. So for Africa, that's that's really hot as well. Um, for Nigeria, I love Muna's flow. I think Muna's really sick. Um, internationally, right now, I mean, there's Nicki Minaj everywhere. So it's, it's like Nicki Minaj is the only one that everybody's really seeing. But I'm still feeling my old school hip hop artists like uh, Lauren Hill. So. Um, I think uh, as an artist, it's always important to dis to to decipher early on if you have goals in common. I mean, a record label should more or less be like a marriage. It's like any other relationship. You have to figure out if you're going in the same direction or not. And I think that's basically what has worked for us. We've had like minds and we've been on the same page. And um, aside from that, the, the legal degree didn't hurt either. <laughs> Yeah, but basically, I think that's what it is, you know, we're, we're a team of people that know, you know, have common goals. Um, I think, you know, being quiet on the music front, the thing is, everybody has to realize that I had been on quiet for 10 years, so I needed a break, <laughs> a little breather. I did release some singles last year, um, Don't Stop. Which, you know, I shot a video for, and Maobe featuring Brimo. And I took about nine months off to set up my retail clothing line because before that, Eclectic by Sasha was bespoke. But I wanted people to understand that, you know, you can walk into a store and buy the clothes, you know, like what I'm wearing. Clothes for every occasion, dress it up, dress it down. And I was able to do that in my time away. Um, about two weeks ago, a song came out, Black Magic featuring Sasha. Mike, Mike, check. One, two, yeah, we on the floor. Uh -huh. Looking like you know me from before, before. Where? Headliner, I be on tour. So you know that I'm definitely coming back. And within that time, I mean, I've been working. Um, I have material that, enough for two albums as we speak. And I was in Kenya in March, earlier on in March, to continue working on my album, where I was there working with a producer called Wawesh. And we did a couple of songs, which I think will be really great for the album as well. And, you know, so so there's been work going on. It's just, it's just not out there yet. Come on. Um, well, Eclectic by Sasha is for the upwardly mobile female, you know, it's ready to wear, it's affordable, it's it's a bit of, you know, it's high street meets meets your pockets, you know, it's affordable, ready to wear clothes. Uh, well, I don't cut on some, I do have tailors, I do have tailors, but I, I, I buy all the fabric and I design everything myself. So every every single thing you see, I probably touched it. I mean, you know, like when when like minds unite is is always magic. I think um, Samsung are a very innovative group of people, very creative, and you know, a lot of people say, oh, when they endorse you, you have to say stuff like that. But I am if if you know me very well, I don't do things that I'm not truly passionate about. And I think the Samsung devices are really, really good phones. I mean, check it out, everybody's using them now. And so when we were approached, you know, my label had the conversations with them and we thought, you know, this is a good, this is a good synergy of our brands. And it's been a great experience so far. building an empire because you know you have to think of the future you know there's the rapping now where, where are we going to from there i'm learning from bosses like russell simmons and jay-z and beyonce you know so in africa sasha's doing her thing that's really just what it's about uh, let the music move you uh, let it confuse you no time to talk only go back when i do the moonwalk said no no time 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 to talk because i only go back when i do the moonwalk. um for i mean winning the mtv mama awards that was an amazing i mean i did didn't believe it until I was holding the award that was amazing that was thank you Africa because you made that happen um, it was an amazing experience because it's easy for everyone to say like you know a, a Nigerian female artist can't win you know best female in Africa and then hip-hop you know hip-hop is not something that everybody welcomes but that was a great achievement for all female MCs in Africa because now we know that the door is open and we can do it again um, as for the Olympic torch bearing thing, I'm so honored. It's still so surreal. Like I'm still staring at my torch and thinking, is that mine? You know what I mean? Like my children are going to be able to see years to come and be able to say my mother carried Olympic flame, you know? So it's a great experience. You can't buy that from anywhere. And I'm just honored that I was one of the people that was chosen to represent Nigeria. I'm a dreamer. So 
let's move no time to talk i mean you know at the end of the day you can't set a timetable to these things because man proposes god disposes so as it comes i mean i'm open always welcome change so i'm, I'm ready whatever comes ah, whatever comes i don't talk about my personal life by the way <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, yes, on Twitter, you can follow me at Sasha P. Official, um, eclectic, at, eclectic by Sasha as well. And then the website, we're going to be online now, so you can buy your clothes online. It's um, www.eclecticbysasha.com. But for now, we stock Atlas Space, which is 19 Olosa Street in Victoria Island. And then there's the blog, eclecticbysasha.blogspot.com. Music, we're on iTunes, Reverb Nation, um, the Storm Nigeria website, and my YouTube channel is going back up in a bit because I'm going to be showing you my experiences from the torch relay, so look out for that. Yes, 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 I want to give a shout out to my boy, Leila, who's here, who's the reason I'm here, by the way, and I mean, OB Crew, that's where I really just started. And, um, you know, everybody really, the fans, the, the, the St Factory 78, everybody that's been showing support so far, it's amazing. I'm here doing what I love and I'm happy to be here. So God bless you all. Thank you very much. Yo, what's up? This is Sasha, a.k.a. The First Lady P, and you are watching Factory 78. Keep it up.